All right, people. So we wrapped up the NFL second uh, week of the season this past Monday night um, with the Cleveland Browns and the New York Jets. Now the Browns won that game 23 to three in OBJ's comeback to MetLife Stadium. That was the story. Um, no surprises there. He had a great catch. Um, we know how it went, um, unless you're living in a cave, but regardless. So did we win? We won. Yes. Okay. A win's a win. But I, uh, instead of doing a separate reaction to this game, I'm just going to tell you what, uh, what's wrong with the Cleveland Browns right now. Okay. Cause there are some glaring issues that need to get fixed immediately or we're going to have issues. And one of those issues potentially could be your star quarterback getting hurt, possibly seriously hurt. Okay. So first of all, what has changed last year? We were in shotgun 55% of the time this year at 66. So we've been in shotgun more. Um, so Last year, we had three wide receivers on the field 55% of the time. This year, 78% of the time. So there's a drastic change there. When Baker throws the ball in 2.5 seconds or less, he's had zero interceptions. More than three seconds when he has thrown the ball, all have been picks and or incompletions. So what does that tell you? Okay. Get the ball out of Baker's hands quick as as quick as possible, and good things happen. Okay, you want to eliminate turnovers, at least interceptions. The best way to do that is get the ball out quick. Um, Baker went 19 of 35 in that game uh, against the Jets. He had some issues. Okay, and we're gonna get into these issues. So. Currently, what's wrong with the Cleveland Browns? Right now, number one, and the glaring number one issue is without a doubt play calling, okay? Um, you know, I've been made fun of. Everybody said I was stupid for calling out Freddie Kitchens and that loss to the Titans. I said it was coaching. It's without a doubt coaching. If anybody could have watched that game last night and known that those play calls were horrible. That is coaching. I am sorry. There's no other way to put it. Plain and simple, it's coaching. Yes, I know I love to hire a Freddie Kitchens. But right now, it's not cutting it. Okay? Uh, I'm not saying fire Freddie. I know I may have overreacted last week. But I'm saying we are not play calling for the strengths of this team. Okay? In fact, it is the opposite. Uh, so without a doubt, number one issue is play calling. We are calling plays that are uh, essentially it's a big play downfield every time. Those are the plays that have been called. Um, in other words, Baker is sitting back waiting on receivers to get open deep downfield. This is forcing him to hold on to the ball more. I just read you the stats of the success when the ball gets out quickly. Um, if if the if you want the most success, get the ball out quickly, okay? We're play calling to hold on to the ball and look for that downfield. Uh, and sh is it exciting? Sure, it's exciting. You get that OBJ catch that first early on in the game. But it's not best for the success of this team, okay? We played a Jets team with Quinn and Williams out. C.J. Mosley out. Guys were hurt, okay? This offense, this was a great chance to essentially test the play calling, okay? Greg Williams um, was very familiar with this team, obviously being interim head coach, knowing Baker very well. This would be a great time to try a bunch of different things out. You know you were going to win if you – now, I'm not saying a win was guaranteed, but you essentially played a high school team um, with all the injuries and stuff going on there. 
this would have been a time to fix things, especially play calling wise. We didn't do that. Okay, we seen glimpses of greatness. Nick Chubb running the ball. He's a every down back and a dynamic player. Get him the ball more. This man had no oh, hold on. Nick Chubb had 18 rushing attempts. Okay. That number needs to be higher. Okay. Especially in a game where you were once you started blowing them out, blowing them out, he should have got the ball a lot more. Um, if this team is going to be successful, we need to run the ball a lot more, okay? Um, one consistent thing on this offense, uh, other than Odell Beckham Jr., has been Nick Chubb. He's been great. Um, he needs to get the ball more. So, play calling issues. Now, The addition of OBJ, right? This was something that everybody thought, oh my gosh, the Browns are disgusting at receiver. Uh, good tight ends, good receivers, good running backs. How can this not work? What doesn't work is when you keep trying to do the same thing over and over and over. It's not going to work every time. It might work once, and it might look good doing it, but it's not going to work every time, okay? And you have to play call for the strengths. Like I said, we're play calling to be able to hold on to the ball. This works perfectly fine if we have the Cowboys offensive line, but we don't have a line who can hold and give Baker a drastic amount of time. We have to get the ball out quick. We have receivers who are fantastic at quick, uh, you know, quick passes. Comeback routes, slant routes. Um, we have the talent here. We just got to do it. We have so much potential, but we're wasting it trying to get a home run play every time. We should be going up and down the field with the abilities that we have on this team as far as catching the football. And you mix that in with running with Nick Chubb and letting him break off for four yards, five yards, at minimum, those are four or five yards that your receivers don't have to go downfield anymore to get, you know, the first down. We have got to be better play calling. Play calling has got to change immediately. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> okay. So, issues, play calling. Number two. Get Nick Chubb the ball more. One thing that has been consistent is he has been fantastic. Get the man the ball. He's your playmaker. He's a dynamic player. Um, He's just a guy who's going to run through you, okay? He can catch balls out of the backfield. He's in every down back. He's a playmaker. Get him the ball, okay? Running the football takes pressure off of Baker Mayfield. Uh, It forces the defense to adjust, so they're not getting used to passing Um, every down or every play. Um, so run the ball more. Um, third of all, Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield, if you know me at all, you know I love Baker Mayfield. Um, but here's the thing, and it hurts me to say this, but Baker Mayfield this year is not Baker Mayfield that we all love and know. Okay. Baker Mayfield this year is trying to force passes to Odell Beckham Jr., okay? Look, all the picks that he's had have been trying to force it to OBJ. He's trying to keep him happy by constantly getting him the ball. Baker last year was so good because of the fact that he could spread the ball and get guys the ball for 10 yards, 15-yard chunks, even five yards, and just drive downfield and then mix that in with the run game. He was just so great because he had uh, the talent to make these big-time NFL throws, as he still does. But Baker Mayfield this year is trying to force everything, okay? Okay. He's got to get back to the Baker of old, of sitting back, seeing it, getting it out now, 
That's what he does so good. When you sit back and you're waiting for Beckham to get open, he's double and triple covered. You got other guys. You got Damian Ratley. You got Jarvis Landry talking about in this last game. Obviously, you have more, uh, you know, with Higgins and whatnot. But you got these guys right there, one-on-one coverage, who can easily, you can squeeze it in there and get that three, four-yard gain, if not more. You have to get what you can. Take what they give you. Okay? He's trying to force everything to Beckham. Okay? And if it's Beckham saying, hey, get me the ball, get me the ball, get me the ball. Baker's got to be a leader and say, no, I got to do what's best for this team. Um, You know, is all hope lost? No. Because this is an issue that Baker can easily turn around. Okay? He had issues for whatever reason last night with – uh, reading, seeing the field, seeing the defense. Um, you know, I'm not quite sure why that was such an issue. His height uh, showed a lot, um, and it hasn't in the past. So I'm not really 100% sure why. Um, but we got to, to fix these issues. Number one, play calling. Play call to the strengths of your team. You know what your weakness is, and that's line. So, in other words, you know Baker's strength is getting the ball out quickly. Stats show that. I just I just read you that. Play call to get the ball out quick. Second of all, get your playmaker and Nick Chubb the ball more. Let him go and get you them couple yards, okay, and more than a couple yards. He's going to break some big runs, but you got to get him the ball more, okay, uh, and third of all, Baker's got to be better making decisions. He can't try to force everything to back him. He's got to do what he did last year. Baker, it's – it's. we got hard games coming up. Next Sunday night, or this Sunday night actually, we play the Rams. Primetime. Another primetime game. The exciting thing to do would be get LBJ the ball every play. Story would be Beckham has a great game. Beckham had a great game this past game. But you know what? You get the ball to somebody else and let them go get five yards, and maybe you're not kicking a field goal. Maybe you're getting a touchdown. Maybe you're not punting. Maybe you're getting in field goal range. These are things you have to do when you're playing good teams. Take what they give you. If you keep trying to force it to one player – they're going to take away that player, okay? It's not that complicated. Baker last year was so fantastic about spreading the ball. Do it again. Do it again. So there's um, there's a lot of positives. The penalties were not as bad. Uh, I know I think the number was eight, but two of them was purposeful uh Delay a game penalties, I couldn't tell you why, but it it was obvious that they were not um, like a situation where we didn't realize that the clock was that low. Uh, we knew, and it was on purpose. I don't know why, but regardless. So that's one of the positives. Penalties, drastically better from last week. Obviously, Miles Garrett had his um, – And that was really bad timing when he had that penalty. Um, But it is what it is. Another uh, issue going on with the Browns right now. Now, Greedy Williams, my guy drafted uh, second round this year, has looked fantastic. I love Greedy Williams just like I loved him back then. Denzel Ward, great player last year, taken fourth overall. Same year, it was Baker, then Denzel. A lot of people didn't like that pick. Guess what? Guy's a pro bowler in his first year. You know what he's done this year? Nothing. He has not adapted to the zone defense that we're running now well at all. He's getting just – guys are absolutely destroying him, okay? Now, I know man-to-man defense is his strength. But it was also Greedy Williams' strength. That was one of the knocks on Greedy is that he couldn't play zone. He's playing a zone defense better than Denzel Ward is. So I I have issues with Denzel Ward. He's got to play at a high level. I don't know what's going on. 
but he's got to play better. So is all hope lost? No, it's not. We These are things that can be fixed. Um, play calling is an easy thing that can be fixed. You just got to do it. Baker, those things can be fixed. Do what you did last year, okay? We have a team right now, despite – now, I'm not – I know everybody's going to say, oh, here we go again, buying the hype. It's just true. The talent we have, if done – if we do things right on the field, we have the talent to get to a Super Bowl. Playoffs at minimum, okay? It's just a matter of executing, okay? Coaching-wise, we're a very young team. We have not played in the, a lot in the preseason. We have not built that chemistry, okay? Those are coaching things that we should have done well before the season to be ready. Those are things you got to gel and mold as a team, um, and a lot of that comes with playing guys in the preseason. Am I saying you have to play Baker Mayfield the whole game? No, not at all. But I'm saying those games don't count. Now you're bringing this play calling system that didn't work in the Tampa game, acting, excuse me, acting like things are just going to magically change. If it didn't work then, change it. See if something else works. Okay. I, we play the Rams next. If if the play calling especially doesn't change, if Baker doesn't get the ball out quicker, he's going to be hurt. You look at what they did to Drew Brees. Saints got a great line. Not a great line, a good line, good enough line. It's going to be ugly if things don't change. Um, you know, there were a lot of guys who were very valuable on our team out Sunday or Monday. Um but a lot's going to have to change, and we're on a short week this week, okay? Now, positives, we're getting better every game. We have the talent to go out and beat the Rams. It's at home on a Sunday night. Big atmosphere. Let's go do it. We can. It's just about putting it on the field, okay? We got to prove that we belong, and we're as good as we should be, all right? Um and a lot of that starts with your head coach and your quarterback. So, with that being said, go Browns. Season's not over. It's just beginning. Um, we got to do it, all right? Um, so, yeah. With that being said, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications, share the video, tell me what you thought down in the comment section below. Um, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.